Hello again everyone, Edwin Lerner back once again. In this YouTube astrological segment, I'm going to be dissertating and talking about the ruler of the seventh house, posited in the ninth house, and the natal horoscope. Well, as most of you know, the seventh house governs partnerships, uh, relationships, um, legalities, documents, open adversaries and enemies, and the ninth house is connected with long journeys, traveling, higher education, religion, philosophy, you say profound thinking, the higher mind. Well, anyway, people, let me get started. Um, I think one way um, to look at this is that if somebody has this placement since the seventh house, you know, is connected with the, um, the partner or significant other, um, this person um, could be somebody that is from another country, has a different religious background, um, other culture, uh, somebody that might you know, possibly, you know, be very philosophical, may even have a different kind of, you know, philosophical outlook than the person that has this placement, um, can impact um, this person's uh, philosophies. Uh, this could be somebody, since the ninth house is connected, you know, corresponds with Sagittarius, the partner may be somebody um, that is very jocular, expansive, optimistic, um, you know, somebody, you know, that has, um, you know, good, um, you know, good outlook, uh, positive outlook, jubilant, and uh, uh, somebody um, also, that it could be somebody that's very religious, um, this person might meet their partner through some kind of traveling, through um, some kind of religious activity, um, business partnerships, might be um, connected with something, uh, you know, that is with, um, I guess, might be somehow, you know, have some connection with their higher education. Um, perhaps, perhaps a business partner is met um, through college um, of some sort. Uh, could be somebody that, you know, is in business with somebody that helps, I guess you could say, um, you know, stimulate, you know, the high, you know, the, you know, the mind, I guess, or, uh, you know, some kind of, um, you know, thing that is connected with, you know, profound thinking, and, um, this partner, um, you know, significant other of this person, you know, could be somebody that has, you know, very strong, uh, profound thinking, and has very, you know, strong religious views. Um, the seventh house is connected with, um, with open enemies or adversaries, so it could be so possible that this person, you know, you know, if this person has enemies, it could be somebody that is, um, you know, connected, you know, with a foreign country, a foreigner, or some, you know, somebody that is at a, you know, at a distance from this person. Um, and um, back to the business partner thing. There's one other thing I wanted to say. You know, the um, the business partner could also be somebody that might be, you know, connected, you know, might work with this person regarding something that is, you know, of, you know, a, a, you know, strong, um, you know, scientific uh, nature or philosophical uh, nature, something that, you know, has to do, you know, with really, um, you know, I guess we could say higher learning, um, you know, scientific um, study analysis or something. Um, another thing is, is that when we look at this um, placement, you know, the seventh house is associated with legal documents, um, legalities. It could be possible if this um, planetary ruler has predominantly negative aspects and is afflicted, uh, there could be some legal issues that are connected uh, with somebody from a different um, a different country or a culture it could be something where somebody has a problem with somebody you know at one location the person goes back you know to their you know to their residence which is in another state or country and then you know a lawsuit somehow um, you know ensues after that and the, you know and it takes and the lawsuit takes place in the you know at the location where the you know where the incident took place and so you know it could be one of those um, one of those deals as far as um, legalities go and uh, 
Oh, it could be something where this person um, meets a partner, a significant other that is adventurous, somebody that likes to go on, you know, hikes or expeditions, somebody that likes the outdoors, and uh, could be enamored um, with sports. You know, person might like to just, you know, even if it's just going outside or doing things on the outside with this partner. Uh, it strikes me this placement wouldn't be for, you know, somebody you know that is going to be you know very stagnant in, in terms of anything connected with um, his or her partner there's going to be you know certain activity and you know I would anticipate you know a number of these people would go on long journeys with uh, with his or her partner so anyway people that will conclude this YouTube astrological segment for the ruler of the seventh house posited in the ninth house in the natal chart. Stay tuned next time where I'll be dissertating and talking about the ruler of the seventh house in the tenth house in the natal horoscope. Two things I want to get with you on before I head out. Firstly, the stars may impel but do not compel. And secondly, never isolate any single astrological element, aspect, planetary placement, position, configuration, influence, or what have you and make an analysis on a person, astrologically speaking, based on this alone, because a person astrologically is the sum of all their components in their natal chart, and not just one. Until next time, people stay well.